Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really special video to share with you, um, courtesy of Heather and Hannah and the Smiths. All right, and as you can see, I have no table back there because I needed to borrow the table here because I have a lot to show you. Uh, Heather and I are both born in August, so I sent her a little something over. She sent me quite a lot over here um, of wax, it is wax. But before we go any start, before we go any further, I do nothing on my lips and nothing on my nails, so we'll just move on. I'm not going to share with you the card, but I did receive a really nice birthday card from from the family. And Hannah, thank you very much. I now have artwork to go on my refrigerator. Thank you so much, Hannah. This is awesome. I when I saw, I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. I love it. Great job. So thank you very much, Hannah. All right. So um, what it is is it's like sensationals and better homes and gardens. Some are not repur not repurchased per se, but some are ones that I know she knows that I really like, so they're um, multiples of things I've had before. And other things are Better Homes and Gardens and Sensationals, just a, um, some little snippets here of things, of course, we I, I don't think we're gonna get here in Canada. My Walmart, as of right now, filming hasn't got any of the fall stuff, but I'm really hoping in the next week or so, they'll start to come in. So we have that, but we also have some things that she sent me some items. She said that I, you know, I'm sending you some items that I don't care for. If you don't like them, feel free to share them um, and that. So she sent me some items here and I'm, ju I'm judging from this. I'm saying, she, I'm thinking she doesn't enjoy sea salt scents as much um, and you'll see in a, in a bit. Some real new to me companies here that I've never even heard of. Um, a couple that I've never heard of and one I've heard of, never tried, and a bunch of things I've I've purchased or had destashes, um, sorry, or random active canvases from others. So uh, we're gonna go with the stuff that is non Walmart first. So this is like the, this is the company that I've heard of but never purchased from, and it's from Bento Wax Company in Zeus Kitchen Lemon. So there it is there, and it's a half chunk. So obviously she's try, tried it and doesn't really, uh, it didn't enjoy it as much as she was hoping. And it is truly a great kitchen lemon. Like if you need to clean out your kitchen after making meat, uh, like browning meat or fish for instance, um, that would definitely be a good one. I will give that a try, I'm looking forward to it. Another new to me uh, company, uh, chloeandme.com www.chloeandme.com I've put a spell on you which is cider and sea salt and look at the little sticker for that that's really cool and there are um, <clears throat> skulls and bones kind of reminds me of like brandy's super tar super tarts uh, brandy's um, her potion packs that kind of thing so there's a bone that got broken but um, <clears throat> So it's cider and sea salt. Definitely, I'm gonna get the little skull here out for you. Definitely get the cider right off the like right off the bat, and then the sea salt follows behind. Mm, it does smell really nice. Another one I'll probably use in the kitchen. I think along with that bento wax one, I definitely would give that a try. It's very like it is sort of citrus. It says cider and sea salt, but I get more of a citrus. There's that. Another new to me vendor. This, you guys, if it throws at all the way I really like it on cold, I'm in trouble. That's all I have to say. It is www.fandomsfairytales.etsy.com. And this melts, it's a clam of courage and bravery, black tea and currant, and it's hand poured wax tarts. That's super cool. And the smell, you guys. Whew. I really, I get the black currant. Oh, sorry, the currant first and then the black tea. I really like this. It's just enough, like, stuff on my nose, just enough, um, uh, what was it, perfume note, sort of. Man, that's really good. I, when I smelled this, I was like, oh, that would be a perfume I would buy. It's got just a, a slight hint of perfume and then there's the, like, the, like, black tea and currant. So, I like that. I'm looking forward to trying that. So, those are of all the new companies to me that I've never tried them looking forward to. And then she sent over a couple of Tiffany's, one Celestial Sea. And it's sort of like a sea salt type scent and it's in a heart. And this one, I think, I think it came to her. I think I remember her telling me it came to her melted, but it's from Tiffany Candles as well. It's rosemary, mint, and cactus sea salt. And it was once a Teddy Tart and I think it got melted a little bit, but it still smells really good and definitely get 
rosemary mint and rosemary mint with tiffany's is more of a sweeter rosemary and mint um so rosemary mint and cactus and sea salt so that smells really good too and then destination wax french green tea so that's nice it's just a little um probably go into my, my bathroom warmer because it's just the right size for my 18 watt it's more definitely green tea it actually reminds me of elizabeth arden's green tea perfume if anyone's familiar with that so it does remind me of that then let's go on to uh, Wilma's. So there's a couple, um, I guess these are nine packs, uh, in cactus and sea salt. And it's, it smells just exactly like that, cactus and sea salt, very, very um, similar. And I, like I say, I can see a theme here, Heather, that you probably didn't enjoy the sea salt as much. And, Gaba and Cabana Cotton, which this definitely is heavier. It is a heavier cotton, like dryer sheet on steroids. It's very 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 um perfumey but i'm i'm gonna melt it i'm also gonna try and mix it with other things as well rainbow melts uh both heather and i did go and we did purchase uh rainbow melts um sorry their uh fizzy pop sampler and she doesn't like lime and she knows how much i like lime so apparently she gave me the mojito fizz which thank you so much i loved my I already melted my one from the, um, oh, itchy nose, uh, from the, uh, what am I trying to say, from the sampler. I really like it. Oh, it smells even better down on the bottom. No, it's so good, you guys. Really like it. So Mojito Fizz. Mm -mm -mm. And then we have four items from uh, Hayden Rowe, Sea Salt. So again, oh God, my nose is itchy. Oh. Um, so Sea Salt, and it smells just like Sea Salt. Something she knows I love, love spell. I love this. I don't even need to open it. I, like I've already spelt it. Oh gosh. Oh, itchy nose. Um, I love, love spell. I bought an entire loaf from Hayden Rowe and chopped it up. It's so good. And then there's Dreamsicle, which I've never tried from Hayden Rowe. And this one is like orange. Oh, orange definitely is the heightened like scent. And then the cream orange and really like a, a campino but less sweet and more of the uh tart orange i like that very much and this one i've had before this oh god my nose is so itchy this one i've had before and um i, I haven't melted it yet i have it i ordered this also from hayden Rowe. champagne and roses now i do know that i've also my mom i think i gave my mom my scent shop for this because probably like Heather I was expecting to smell more of champagne and like a little rose and this is definitely rose oh so I'm not sure if I'll keep this one or I might if I do I'll blend it with something because I know that I wasn't as happy with the scent based on my description that I thought it was um, but thank you very much Heather like because I like I said if I don't melt it I will definitely gift it to somebody who I know will love it but if I do melt it, I'll probably melt it with something. Then we have some Sassy Girl Aroma. We have It's Raining Coconuts and Aruba, which is fresh rain and coconuts. There's just a couple chunks right here. Let's see if I can pull one out. It's going to be a long video, like usual. Like usual. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Coconut stands out first, and then the fresh, the fresh rain. Yeah. Mmm. It's like if you were standing outside, um, cracked open a coconut right before your eyes, sniffed it, and it started raining, like, torrentially. <laughs> That's what I would think that would smell like. And then I think, Heather, did you get the, from Sassy Girl Aroma, did you get this sea salt sampler? Because I'm thinking you did, because I also got a chunk, and it looks like one of those sampler types. Salty Sea Air Black Sea, or, yeah, Black Sea Black Coconut, and I really like this. Again, it's from Sassy Girl Aroma. I actually really like this. I love my black coconut uh, melt from, and I still have a couple left, from, sorry, there it is. That's really pretty. Uh, from Candles from the Keeping Room. Really enjoyed that. So I'm looking forward to this too. This is going to be great, whether I melt it now or if I wait and save it for next um, end of spring, beginning of summer. Might just do that because we're almost in the fall, hence what you're about to see. Sassy Girl Aromas Pink Sugar Love Spell. Well, exactly how it sounds. It is love spell type like this, as well as pink sugar from Aquilina, I think it is. 
So that is also from Sassy Girl Aroma. So she gave me two chunks. It does smell really, really, really nice. Really nice. I definitely get the love spell first. That's what I definitely get right at the front. And then the pink sugar sort of melds it together. So there is that. And the last sample, that I, or like the last one that she sent me because she wasn't super happy with it or she didn't enjoy it as much, is apples and evergreen. And I'm looking forward to melting this in like end of October, beginning of November, I think. Mmm. It's different. It's totally, I would never have thought. So I'm going to pop it out. Here you go. I would never have thought to put apples and evergreens together. It's interesting. Again, whether I do it on its own or do it with Sugar Cookie Crunch, which is like the, the um, OG of all like blenders, um, it's interesting. It's very sharp uh, evergreen, very sharp fresh pine needles, or evergreen needles, I guess. So those, that's that. And then I will show you what she picked up at Walmart. Okay, so she knows how much I love the fresh pulled taffy. So it is limited edition, and so she bought one, two, three, and four. Oh my word, that's awesome. And I really love, I really do love that one, and I really love blending it with fizzy, with a fizzy pop. And also another one she sent me was Vanilla Cookie Crunch in the family pack, and this is awesome for blending. It's so gorgeous. I wish here in Canada we would get this. Oh, it's so good. Now on to some newer items. We'll stick with Better Homes and Gardens. I also received a Tranquil Garden Spa. And this is also a family pack. Look how beautiful that wax is. It is really nice. Definitely oceany, beachy, spa-like. Um, those fluffy towels. Oh, like if you just come out of like a resort and you put your face in a very like freshly laundered and dried towel and you like just buried your face in it and that's like this fresh bounce sheet smell mm, that's exactly what that is so if you like fresh scents like linen things like that i think in the states if you can get your hands on better homes and gardens um tranquil garden spot this would definitely be up your alley i'm really looking forward to trying that so still on better homes and gardens i will tell you this one uh, was a bit risky for me. You guys know I don't really enjoy red hot cinnamon, things like that, but I always said to myself, I'm like, okay, I sniffed it. I was like, it's called, sorry, spicy cinnamon stick. And then, oh yeah, it is spicy. But I'm looking forward to trying to melt this alongside other things. I'm really wanting to mix this with, with other fragrances because it is not a scent I can do on its own. It's too heady, it's too strong. So again, spicy cinnamon stick, but if you love cinnamon, whoo -hoo, I can almost taste it. All right, probably one of my favorites, one of my favorites out of this whole lot is Better Homes and Gardens Farm Apple Pumpkin. There's just something about the scent that is so, it's lighter, it's that the spices aren't like in your face, like especially after having just smelt that, that cinnamon one. This is just like the best pumpkin punch with a little bit of spice. It's not super heady or heavy, but it is probably my top favorite one of the bunch here. Then we have also Better Homes and Gardens, Crisp Fall Leaves. Definitely more of a masculine scent. It's an orange wax. Definitely more, leans more masculine. Um, I like it. I could definitely melt this on its own, especially when I could, maybe it's psychosomatic, right? When I start seeing the leaves turn, I probably would feel more inclined to melt this one. Psychosomatic, probably. Uh, sweet candied apples. This is nice because, although it don't smell caramel. Oh no, that's right, it's candied apples. So candied apple has no caramel on the outside, it's just the sugar. So definitely it's, it is much more sweet. It's a sweet apple, so red wax. Oops, sorry. There you go. This was very nice too. Peaches and cream, kind of out of the, the element here, but peaches and cream, better homes and gardens. Mmm. That's really nice. So again, like a peachy colored wax. There you go. 
So it says limited edition, so it must be limited edition to summer. But um, I like peaches and like a good peach. But um, again, if I feel like I don't, it doesn't sit well with me while melting, I'll just add sugar cookie crunch because why not? <laughs> why not? Okay. All right. Better Homes and Gardens sliced apple cinnamon. This is definitely cinnamon is the predominant note to me. And then a red Mac apple. So it's like a light, like a almost a raspberry kind of looking melt when it's in the melt or in the clam. Yeah, clam shell, I guess. Uh, let's see if I can pop these out. It's a little lighter actually in the light. Sorry, I'm trying to do this for you. Here we go. So it's a little bit lighter here, but it's. This one I'm not, I mean, it's nice. Um, I definitely get more cinnamon, which obviously, I've, as I've mentioned before, cinnamon and I are like, mm, you know, I might have to blend it a little bit, but I do like the apple and I appreciate the apple out of that one. This one is another favorite of mine. Also Better Homes and Gardens, orange buttercream cupcake. This is nice. This reminds me of almost, It's I know it's an orange buttercream cupcake, but it reminds me of, Lake Providence Lodge icebox cookies, lemon icebox cookies, but substitute the lemon for an orange. And that's exactly what I get. And I love Lake Providence Lodge I, uh, lemon icebox cookies. That is really good. I really like this one. I think, and I think that's a really pretty picture actually. I really like that one and I hope it melts very, very well. Spice pumpkin pie for Better Homes and Gardens. Look at that picture. I, okay, I hate, like I don't say that word often. I hate pumpkin pie. I hate anything to do with the taste of pumpkin, but it's one of my favorite scents. And as a child, I hated pumpkin pie. As an adult, I've tried pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin cheesecake, pumpkin muffins. I don't, I've deemed that I just don't like pumpkin taste, but there is something about the spices used in all of those things that smells so awesome to me and I do love it. Um, so again, we're gonna sniff spice pumpkin pie. This one sounds, smells familiar to one of the ones from uh, Sensationals that we'll get to shortly. It's most, I don't get pumpkin. I don't get any pumpkin whatsoever. I definitely get the spices. I do not get the bakery note to this at all. But I'm going to put this to the side because there is something, I think it's Sensationals, that's coming up to me that smells exactly the same. Bitter Homes and Gardens, A Thankful Harvest. Hmm, is it this one? I don't remember. No, nope, this one's more cinnamon. So, Thankful Harvest. I mean, I guess it's their attempt for a pumpkin. It's very light. There is like a pumpkin like puree kind of note to it. Very, very light. And that's pretty much all I get. There's no spices or anything, like nothing major in there. So, um, that's the a Thankful Harvest. And, okay, this is what I think Bath & Body Works needs to do. And I know I'm not the only one. I know lots of people who are totally into Bath & Body Works candles as I am when they make new scents. Um, and again, I get asked on a weekly, on a weekly, especially since I did that video for cutting out my Bath & Body Works candles. I've had so many people are like, have you given up on candles? Oh, that's so sad. I have not given up on candles. What it is, is I know that those candles, I know I love the scent, but I don't want to, there's some of them are very, very uh, rare that I have there. Um, and I know what the burn was like before. And it, my luck with Bath & Body Works candles burn lately, or in the last year, has gone down tremendously. It's my luck is not there. So rather than feeling like I'm wasting a candle to burn knowing that I'm gonna get that stinky smell, I wanted to chop them up so I can enjoy it. Plus, keeping in mind, when you chop a three wick candle up, you have a lot of wax and you can share that with friends. So for example, the cranberry pumpkin that I have from Bath & Body Works, I could have hoarded that to myself and just burnt it by myself. But no, the whole idea is that I wanted to chunk it up and then give a little samples to my friends down the road too. So I want to share what I have, especially that kind of candle because you can't get that candle. We've not seen it back from Bath & Body Works. They never listen to us about what we want. Um, what we want back. They never do. They just keep repackaging everything and that's where I'm frustrated I'm, among other things. You guys know this. I'm just so frustrated about the repackages 
that's why I, I look on my collection and I find out, okay, this one just came out again. Well, I'm not gonna buy it. I have three of them back there. I'm not gonna buy and candles in multiples again. I'm gonna get what I want and I want and hoping for new things. This is one of the things I wish that Bath and Body Works would do in three wick candle. Cranberry Mandarin Splash. Cranberry and orange is such a great thing. It is amazing. I love, love, love it. Um, there's something about the smells of cranberry and orange. Mm, the sweetness of the orange, like the citrus liveliness of the orange with a tiny little bit of that tart cranberry. I This is another one that I really, really like on cold and I'm putting it into this pile. Like I've, I'll show you guys at the end which ones I think are for me new and what I appreciate the most. So we have Better Homes and Gardens Vanilla Caramel or Caramel Spice. This one is definitely, you get vanilla. There is some richness to vanilla, but the spices are very similar to the spices you would get, like clove, um, card, like, you know, all the spices that you would do into a pumpkin pie. So it's like pumpkin pie spices and vanilla. So it's nice. But again, there's a lot of spices here. This is gonna be a little more mild because it does have vanilla in it. So I'm looking forward to that one as well. Rustic Country Home, Better Homes and Gardens. This smells familiar too. Okay, no, in my nose. Mm, this is just ever so much stronger of the spices, the Rustic Country Home, but it's very similar to pumpkin pie. So there's a little more spice in this one. Mm, all right. And then last of the Better Homes and Gardens is Soft Cashmere Amber. Oh man, it just smells so good. Like I want to, I can take up, I want to put the cashmere, soft cashmere amber, excuse me, amber, at the same time as like jasmine tea or or tea time or something and it'd be really cozy and make sure I have I have reading socks that they're ones that go up to my knees like that's like the perfect you're hunkered down gonna watch a movie read a book watch YouTube got a couple of, like a cube of this and one warmer say um jasmine tea or a tea time and another warmer um for me another one would be a chai tea oh my goodness I would love this is just definitely one of those hunker down get cozy love it I love it okay so let's go here so now we're on to sensationals I have seven here to show you first one is harvest moon kind of like the picture it's very impressive this one's a difficult one to 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 pick the notes on there is definitely somewhat of a pumpkin like scent to it like a pumpkin butter but not like the pumpkin puree with a little bit of spice but there's not a whole lot of spice with that but I like that because again all these other ones a lot of them have a lot of spice in it so it's kind of nice to change it up for your nose all right pumpkin spice it's pumpkin time this one I know a lot of people were looking for um, apparently there's a banana bread one that might be coming out okay mmm this smells so good. Now, I get no bread note whatsoever. So the photo that's in here, sorry, I'm trying to pop it out. The photo that's uh, showing here on the package, it's really just the spices. No bakery whatsoever. Actually, so far, I don't, so far, because there's a few more to show you guys, there's anything that had like a bakery note or like a pitcher with bakery or a pie with crust had no bakery in it whatsoever. But we do have a couple ones, a couple coming up that are more bakery. Apple butter. Now I'm not sure if we get this here in Canada. We might, but I know my Walmart. Ugh, it's so bad. They they hardly ever stock anything there. Apple butter. Butter makes everything better. There you go. Oh yeah, this is nice. If anyone's ever had an apple butter. It's truly just a really nicely buttered, whipped up apple, apple sauce with butter and spices. Oh, this is another one that I hope does really well because on cold, it's fabulous. Vanilla Woods, dark notes of oak infused with vanilla. 
I like the picture in that. It's nice and simple. This is this is definitely like a bedroom scent. There is most certainly the vanilla pod, like what you see here, the vanilla pod, which is the black bean like thing, like stock bean things. Um, but the woods, the woods of it, the there's not smoke, but you, it was what you would, if you were in the woods cutting down a tree. Sorry for anybody who doesn't agree with that, but growing up, we would go out and get our firewood for the year, um, and we would cut down trees, and we could do that. But that was back in the '80s. This smells like we're outside. We it's raining. Um, some of the leaves that are kind of maturing that have fallen, i.e., they're rotting, which is not a bad. I don't. It's not bad. But then you sliced open, uh, like you sliced the tree down, and and the tree is felled. And uh, that's what it smells like to me. Mm. It, it, there's a manliness to it, but the beautiful girl side of it is the vanilla side. So this would be a great bedroom melt, I think. All right, warm apple pie. I love going to grandma's. And I think, we, I'm not sure, we may have this one. I'll have to look when I go, but I'm not sure. I didn't see it last time I was there at my Walmart. I like this one because, you, okay, first note is definitely the, um, Mac, I, I get Mac apple, not Granny Smith apple. Definitely, or, or sorry, Red Delicious apple. It might be Mac apple. Mac apple. I get Mac apple. I definitely get the butteriness. I definitely get a little bit of the crust note and a little sugar. Like I, that's, I get all of it. So to me, the photograph that they used for this was very, very, very good. I think that they, they did well with this. It's authentic, it's true to the packaging for what it smells like. All right, so then we've got my last two sensationals, which are probably the most bakery of all of them, of everything I've shown you. Pumpkin apple muff muffins, which is also blissful. Mm, this is nice. Again, the spices aren't overpowering, like they aren't taking over everything. Apple, a butter, and a bread. I don't know about pumpkin. I get more of apple. The apple definitely comes out more, but I do enjoy this one very, very much. I know that this was one of the first ones I saw people hauling uh, when they were bringing, you know, hauling Walmart wax. This one, pumpkin marshmallow cream. It's a marshmallow world. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> this is the closest thing I can think of, in my mind, to Bath & Body Works pumpkin marshmallow. Oh yeah, oh yeah, right here. Okay, top I get mostly vanilla, or like I guess in this case it'd be the marshmallow, but on the bottom I'm getting more pumpkin. Oh yeah, this is amazing, holy cow. Thank you so much, Heather, Hannah, and Smith family. This was awesome. It was oh, in the box, and they I wrapped everything up so beautifully individually, and I was like, oh my god! Like every time, I'm like, I don't open it up. Oh wow, open it up. Oh my goodness. Um, but I'll show you my top favorites. I think out of the the law, other than the pull taffy and the co sugar cookie crunch, my top favorites are pumpkin marshmallow cream. That is really nice. And if you're at Walmart. Or if you have it at home, pop it out because like I said, on the bottom, it smells even more fantastic than just sniff, sniffing the top. Then uh, apple butter, very nice. Cranberry mandarin, this is lovely and I wish again Bath & Byrds would make a candle with that scent combo because I think it'd be a hit. But what do I know? I'm just a consumer, right? Orange buttercream cupcake, Better Homes and Gardens. And lastly, probably my favorite out of the whole lot is Better Homes and Gardens Farm Apple Pumpkin. There's just something nice, light. This is like the beginning of October to me. So you guys, thank you again to Heather and family for sending this to me. Um, she, like I said, it was her birthday as well. So um, she got a little stuff. We, I took her shopping at Walmart too and um, some Canadian treats as well. Some stuff that I never realized you guys don't get in the States for those of you in the United States. Um, anyway, thank you so much. This was awesome. I had such a blast opening it. Thank you, Hannah, for your artwork. I love it. It's going on my fridge right now. And I love the card. And all the extra goodies you guys threw in. That was amazing. And you did not have to at all. 
Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying these out. These scents are amazing. This will be my first official fall of melting and full on Christmas like winter melting. I'm really looking forward to those. So you guys, as always, be safe and have fun.